How's it going there YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and some of you may or may not know but Google I.O. Uh, keynotes just ended and Google has released the Android M developer preview. So I went ahead and installed that here on my Nexus 6 and I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it and show you guys Android M developer preview. Let's go do this. So let's check out Android M developer preview on my Nexus 6. I'm super pumped to show you guys this and we're just going to walk through some of the new features here in Android M. So just you can see you've got the standard shortcuts right here on the lock screen. We'll go ahead and open it up and this again looks pretty much like Lollipop, right? Google Now on the side, kind of standard. So some of the things that you'll notice that have changed are going to be your app drawer. So app drawer is now al uh, alphabet alphabetized and has letters on it. It also has your most frequently used applications right there on the top which is pretty cool and it also has the search feature where if you just type something in it will you know come up and find it for you very easily. So very nice, very easy to use. Um, you can see this doesn't change. Your, your folders look pretty standard scrolling. But let's go into some of the other features. So one of the new things that you're going to notice here with Android M is when you hold down on this, it opens up this Google Now cards that's going to be for whatever you were viewing last. Well, in the preview, you can see this has not been enabled. Right here it says cards about the screen you were just viewing aren't available in this release. So when Android M becomes official, you'll be able to go to like something in here in Google. So maybe you're going to go to Android M, you're looking at something, and you just hold this down, and it's going to give you even more information about what you're searching for, what you're viewing. Maybe you're in a YouTube, maybe it'll bring up the YouTube information for the YouTuber or something like that. So that's going to be really awesome. Now in the preview, one of the things that's nice with it, is if you're in some kind of an application so let's say you're in your pictures application and you want to just get to your Google Now activation you can easily go like this okay Google how old is Brad Pitt and it launches Google Now for you just by holding the home button and it's gonna keep going because I'm still talking but anyway it's a very nice that easy way to get into the uh, Google Now or Google search functionality anywhere you are on any app. So I like that feature. Besides that, let's go ahead and look at our notifications. So pretty standard stuff in here for some quick toggles. One of the things that you'll notice has changed is your volume settings. So right here you can actually finally go in here and now we can adjust volume for ring, music, alarms, everything very easily. Um, and just, just a much better way to get into your volume adjustment. So I'm pretty happy about that change as well. Other than that, guys, let's go into our settings. And I'm going to show you some cool things that are in here. Um, one of the, my favorite I'll actually show you right here is this white background just drives me nuts. I really don't like it at all. So what I'm going to show you is a way to change that. So what you got to do is you got to go into About Phone. And you go to your build number and you tap on it about 10 times and it's going to make you a developer. Once you're a developer, you should have developer options. So go into developer options and right here it says theme. Ah, cool, huh? So we're going to go dark and shabam, now you have the dark theme in all of your settings. I really love this feature. The other thing you can do in here that's kind of cool is you have automatic and I'm assuming how that works. I don't know, I haven't tested it. I just got this on my phone like two minutes ago. So, um, but I'm assuming how that works is basically at night it's going to go to the dark mode and during the day it's going to be in the light mode. That would be my guess. But I really like the dark mode. I think this is really nice and a good, good little feature here for Android M. So, Annette, you want to go in here and we might as well take a look at the Easter egg. So, if you type on Android M, there is the Easter egg. Now we don't have a, a flappy droid game in here. If you hold down on it, all you get is, let's see, there it is. That little guy right down there. Kind of goofy, but, you know, is what it is. This is the preview. I'm sure it'll be different when we have the actual full Android M release. Now I've heard it's rumored that uh, we're actually going to be on 
or what Android M is standing for is milkshake. I'm curious to see if that comes to fruition or not, but somebody's uh, Moto 360 watch that I saw on Google I.O. had a milkshake on it, so hmm, maybe so. We'll see. We'll see. That's always a possibility. This is kind of cool right here, Google. So Google settings got added into the settings menu, which makes sense. It used to be an app, Google settings, and now you can do it all through here. So um, I kind of like that. That's nice. Helps you manage it all. You can see here ads, Google Fit, search and now, security, um, set up nearby devices, history. It's all right here. It makes sense for it to be in the settings tabs. So I, I, I'm a big fan of that improvement. Um, let's see what else we have in here under battery. This is pretty standard. Yeah, battery saver and all that kind of stuff. Let's see what else we have. So, yeah, pretty standard here too. But the rest of this looks pretty basic. Um, definitely a big fan of the new app drawer though. I think this makes sense. See most recent applications it changed because I launched calculator. Um, this thing's very smooth, very fluid. Here's your recent applications. Oh, I tapped Google now again. See, hold that down and it brings up that screen. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the official release of this on my Nexus 6. Um, hope you guys have liked this little kind of demonstration showing off a couple of the things that I found in the first 10 minutes I was playing on the device. Um, I'm really excited to run this, uh, probably start using this thing as a daily driver again and see how Android M Preview runs on the Nexus 6. Stay tuned for more coverage here on the Nexus 6 and all of the Android news with Google I.O. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.